and Trump, everybody slams Trump, but I agree with a lot of the stuff that Trump says. Like, I agree with Donald Trump that I would also like to have sex with his daughter. <laughs> is really fit and I respect a man who can go on TV when he's running for president and say he wants to pump his own daughter and still win. It's just really awkward and not funny at all. The whole show was just very tense and sort of angry and all the points that this Tory was making were not only shit but they just weren't really funny. On university campuses in America they ban clapping. They ban clapping in case it triggers PTSD in people who've been exposed to clapping <laughs> and they, they've replaced it with finger snapping but surely that's worse because what if somebody's been sexually assaulted by a jazz singer so intimidating because i didn't know what he was going to do he, he seemed a bit yeah. unhinged yeah. Yeah. also the same bullions band i think we need to bring bullion back like every time every time there's a school shooting in america they always say oh but the the the, the, the school shooters they were they were being bullied that shows that that shows that school bullies have got an innate ability to sniff out psychos <laughs> and, and beat them up. We should be arming the bullies so they can finish the job properly. Don't scare your audience so that they don't feel like they can heckle you. If your pitch is to you know you're going to convert the audience, you need to actually kind of acknowledge their side and then bring them over and like coerce them. Whereas he just starts from go like this is where I'm at, and coming out with all these things that make anyone who's coming from a left perspective feel. Brexit was nuts. Brexit was like the country just got drunk and accidentally unfriended Europe on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we're just carrying on like we meant it. Like, oh fuck you. Goodness. I voted, I voted Remain. That was the Tory line. That's not why I voted Remain. I voted Remain because my mum's moved to Spain and I want her to stay there. <laughs> was confused with the arguments either way, like, uh, like they interviewed people the next day on the news, they interviewed one bloke, he was like, I voted leave, I voted leave, but I didn't really want to leave Europe. So there's two options on that form, how did you fuck that up? <laughs> they interviewed another bloke who was just like, I voted leave to get the Muslims out. Well, he's in for a shock when he finds out that Muslims don't come from Luxembourg. <laughs> there is a lack of comedians that are, that are kind of different political views, a lot of them have very similar views. However, maybe there's a reason. I was physically repulsed. It's understand we needed feminism in the, in the 70s when like women had to wear chastity belts and fight bears in pubs for money. <laughs> like, things have changed and things are pretty equal now, you know what I mean? And there still is huge inequalities between men and women, but feminists aren't going for the big inequalities, they're just going for the nice stuff. There's huge inequalities, like 97%, 97% of work workplace related deaths are male. 97%, that's a huge discrepancy. That means for every 33 men who like fall off an oil rig or get dragged into a winch and ripped apart or like get crushed in a mine collapse, just one woman, just one woman gets lost inside a duvet cover and can't find her way out. <laughs> One star, The Guardian. Uh, 